Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use state with the objects. So, when we use the states, we will basically do the two operations. One, we can assign the value. Second, we can update the value on any event, right? So we already know that how we can update the value and how we can create the state and all. But still, I am making a video with the state and objects. The reason is whenever we will update a state with the object, we will identify a problem, which is, let's say we have a two keys in our object name and age. Whenever we will update one key, then second key will be automatically removed from our state. Why and how we can resolve this problem? We will learn in this video. So, and uh, first of all, let's go through with the points. Then we will just uh, jump on practical example. We will make a state and define some objects inside it. And uh, after that, we will try to update it and uh, understand that what problem we are getting here. And uh, then I will tell you the two ways to resolve this problem, right? And after that, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in a comment box also. And this is my Instagram account. If you just want to join me here, you can ask me some questions here as well as in comment box also. So now let's get started. So this is my output screen and uh, let's uh, define a state first of all so let's say my state name is uh, data and uh, i have one more property with the set data for update it and uh, we are using here a state so just write here react dot use state and uh, we can define some properties by default here let's say name can be uh, anil right and uh, let's say age is uh, 27 that's okay. So now let's uh, print these states here. So just simply write here h1 tag name and uh, it can be like a uh, sorry data dot name. And uh, after that, let's uh, define one more property with the age and it can be age like this. So now let's uh, catch up the output. This is working fine. That's great. Right. So now let's uh, define some input box to update these values. Right. Type can be like say text and uh, value. We can uh, let's say put values like, uh, okay, we, if we don't know define values, then still okay. Let's directly use your own change uh, event to update the state. And here we can just simply write here. Uh, let's just get a event parameter from here and just write here set data and obviously we can use here object because we are just updating object and just put here name is uh, event dot target dot value right and uh, now let's uh, close it like this and let's make one more uh, input box to just update the uh, age also. So just right here, age, right? So uh, on a first look, they both are looking great. So now I am just want to update the name and let's, I'm just doing something. But here you can see that age is actually just removed from here, right? So let's just uh, refresh it once again and let's try to update age so let me just put here uh, let's say 40 but now you can see that name is empty from here the reason is behind that because whenever we are updating this object it just understand understand that when we are updating it we just want to remove the age because we are just putting here only one key right so how we can resolve it so for that you can just simply put here age comma data dot age which is already predefined right and uh, we can just do it like with name also just put here name and uh, just define a name property now everything will be working fine so let's say i just want to update the name with the situ and the age uh, let's say 40 and something this is working fine right uh, but is it a good way this is the one way to resolve it 
but is it a good way no actually so let's say we have some more properties here email mobile number address then we cannot just write here every pro property like this right so what we can do here so just simply write here triple dot and data and here you can see that this is a rest operator right like this so it will just provide the all remaining values and uh, now you will find that this is working still great Bruce and age is let's say 38 that's all for uh, here right so i hope that uh, you know that how we can just update these values if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, here i have a question that so here you can see that we are using object so let's try with a uh, array also so let's say you have a array here then how you can handle these kind of issues so just try with it at your home so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care